Ethiopian Minister of Mines, Madam Singyanesh Ajiju, was welcomed as a special guest by Alana Potash at this year's PDAC convention held in Toronto this past March. In this exclusive interview, the minister discusses what makes Ethiopia an attractive destination for foreign mining companies and what measures the country is taking to help junior miners to invest in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is clearly uh, pursuing in terms of um, clear policies and uh, strategies that are very transparent and uh, accountability is emphasized and because of this uh, and in our strategy we have taken the private sector as an engine for our development. We know development is capital intensive, it needs technology. Because of this we invite the private sector to be our development partners. Therefore this is the advantage clear policy strategy, no discretionary issues, no vague issues. This is, this is why it makes you know, a priority for the private sector. What types of support is the Ethiopian government providing to boost mining investment in the country? In the first place, we clearly tell them our position is to take them as a development partners. And we also make it clear what we expect from them and what we facilitate. So based on this common understanding, uh, that we want them to enter. Uh, because Ethiopia is, want to, is in the fast track development, it's required because we want to take our people from poverty. Because of this, once they are involved, we want to pursue other partners. So when we say Agreements, agreements contains uh, rights and obligations. To fulfill the rights, we facilitate everything, and we ask their obligations to, to be delivered. So with this common understanding, and uh, we will we, we'll make them to value add our uh, development efforts. As you know, the resource sector is a big part of the Canadian economy, and Canadian companies are famous for finding opportunities all over the world. Are there any special initiatives to improve cooperation between the countries and to attract more involvement from Canadian companies? As we are uh, newcomers for this industry, we want to learn from best for performing countries. So uh, fortunately we have taken Canada also as uh, the best practice. So we are involved with the government of Canada and CEDA uh, in terms of you know uh, knowledge transfer capacitating our uh, capacity in the institution in terms of uh, having uh, op operating in the mining sector and also uh, to overcome uh, our regulatory roles. And in this process, now we have many Canadian companies to start with. We have uh, 18 Canadian companies independently having a Canadian uh, registered as a Canadian companies in two joint ventures, Ethiopia and Canada. So altogether we have 20. We want to enhance this. And therefore, you know, they are also supported by the Canadian government because uh, we want to run this sector as a transparent and you know, accountable manner. So they, they, they are uh, being invited to play in this, in this regard. And uh, there is a Canadian... Um, government uh, uh, program that helps us, you know, when I say in transparent and uh, accountable manner, it means we have to have the social uh, corporate responsibility environment and the development integrated make them viable so that we enter into a mutual benefit. So this process, you know, enhances and we, we give high regard for Canadian companies as well as learn from Canadian government. What types of support is the Ethiopian government providing to boost mining investment in the country? From the beginning we have understood that uh, this sector needs uh, our development partners uh, because it's very capital intensive. So there are incentives that are clearly set in our uh, laws, regulations, in terms of you know full coverage of their uh, cost recovery 100% within four years, 25 25%. 
and tax free when they mobilize the capital goods. And uh, there are many aspects of uh, packages that are clearly uh, put in place in terms of uh, rights of the companies when they are involved. So we, we facilitate that uh, for them to, to, to arrange and encourage them to pursue their you know, uh, obligations. Infrastructure remains a bottleneck in the country. There have been some key announcements about the building of new rail lines and roads to facilitate transportation within Ethiopia. Can you provide us with some more details on these developments? In terms of developing our country, my government has given a priority for infrastructure, for roads, for even electricity, interconnections, not even uh, only in Ethiopia, but we are now we have started being connected with Djibouti, we are already connected with Sudan, we are already connected, we are also working on the infrastructure to be connected to Ethiopia, power interconnections. And we know that as we advance our productivity uh, in terms of mining products, uh, monetization or transport is very important. So my government has taken a priority also in terms of road construction. At this particular time, we are also you know, uh, we have uh, connected or we have solved some of the problems, which is in the Denakil depression. In the in the past, there was no any road. So because of this, the private sector involvement uh, as our development partner, the government has uh, delivered its commitment in terms of constructing this. And now we are. Uh, pursuing to construct railroads, some of them they have started, some of them have uh, organized and we have got uh, in the finances secured, we are in the process. While the companies are working on their uh, mining activities to take it to the bankable feasibility and uh, making ready the products, the government is doing its assignment in this regard because infrastructure is very important. When complete, Alana Potash's project in Ethiopia will likely be the largest mining project in the country. How do you think this will help the country in facilitating the growth of the mining industry? This will have a, a, big, a big picture in the growth of the mining industry. The, our mining uh, sector has uh, started emerging. Now the, my country is benefiting from the uh, gold production, from the tantalite production, from the colored stones. Our vision is also to be the backbone of the industry. Now, this potash is in the industry, as you have the fertilizer industry. So, it will be a plus for our economic development. We are in the right track of development because we, we know we have to uh, fast track our development process in terms of economic growth. We have um, secured for the last nine years to be you know, double-digit growing. So when this is uh, you know, in, uh, plus, it will be plus, and so it will sustain our fast growth development, and it will be very good to enhance our uh, country to, 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 to take it out of poverty. Are you pleased with the progress so far at Atlanta's Danico Potash project? What type of impact would a project such as this have on the local economy and employment? Uh, we are very pleased the way it is going. From the beginning, we want to work this type of uh, project with a partnership. Now, we have found Alana to be a very you know, reputable company, uh, responsible, social corporate responsibility. They have started delivering in terms of working with the local people. They train also the local people. They also give opportunities even for the unskilled laborers. So this is uh, very good in terms of, you know, getting social license on the, on, the, on the ground and at the same time enhancing the local economy and also subsequently the federal, the country's economy. To get more great interviews with our experts, be sure to check the Education tab on smallcappower.com and be the first to know by subscribing to our daily newsletter.